chapter 4 through chapter 6. I have a question for you. What do you do when you have passed the test? What do you do when you have passed the test? We are now in the 20th day of a 40-day fast. We are halfway home, on the back nine, coming down the stretch. And we have gotten to a point where we have not cursed as much as we used to, or some of us might not even curse at all now. We have gotten to a point where we are not holding bitterness or envy. We have gotten to the point where we have given up and abstained from sugar and bread and red meat. We have even been working out every week. We have been journaling. We have been reading uh, emotionally healthy spirituality. We have just been doing all of the things that God has wanted us to do during this fast. But Jesus gives us a point about what do we do when we are passing all of those tests. And he gives us uh, two things, actually, that I want to point out to you. We know that in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11, and Luke, the chapter that I'm reading to you all now in chapter 4, verse 1 through 13, we have the exact same biblical recording of Jesus being tempted by the devil. The devil is up to his same old game, the same three temptations, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. And Jesus responds the same way by speaking his word. But the thing that Jesus wanted us to know is that when it's all said and done, when we pass that test, what should we be looking after? The word of God says this, then the devil leaded him and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Wow. Can you imagine angels coming to minister to you after you pass the test? Can you imagine that we have an opportunity for God to send his angels to us to minister to us as we do good and pass tests? So that's just an incentive to by itself. So not only does he do that, that he helps us, he gets us through. You know that feeling you get when you walk away from a temptation that you thought that you could never walk away from? You know that glow that you have and people say to you, uh, something different about you. That's God is sending his angels to minister to you. However, though, in our text, in Luke chapter four, Luke has a different recording. And Jesus had him to say this, in Luke chapter 4, verse 13, Luke says, And when the devil has ended all of the temptations, he departed from him for a season. The King James Version says for a season. The NASB said for an opportune time. So not only does Jesus want us to know that when we pass our tests, that he sends his angels to minister to us, he wants us to know as well <clears throat> that the devil is always looking for an opportunity to come back and try something again. So we know that we have to be prepared for that. You have to be prepared when you go out and you say, man, I've been fasting, I've been doing all these things, I've been coming to church, I've been paying my tithes, I've even signed up for the pledge. But then the devil says, let me see, can I get them on cheating on their taxes? So we always have to be aware of the devil's devices. So in those two things, God is telling us that we need to be aware and we need to be protected on both uh, avenues. So let me pray this prayer for you. Dear Heavenly, most gracious and merciful God, we come to you now, Lord, and thanking you. We're thanking you, the Heavenly Father, for giving us an opportunity, Lord, to know the devil's devices and know, Lord, that he is always busy and he's always looking to trip us up. But you have told us, Lord, that if we submit ourselves to you and resist the devil, he will flee. You have also told us, Lord, that we should be proud and come uh, uh, happily acquainted with all of the accomplishments that you allowed us to do by sending your angels to minister to us. 
Let us continue, Lord, to do your work and stay on this fast to serve you just like you have called us to do. We say this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.